Hello everyone, it is iReversal and welcome back to another Nights and Dragons video. In this episode, we're going to be taking down Vermax for the 15th time. Uh, no, wait, actually, that is, uh, that's, I did that a long time ago. We are going to take it down for the uh, 35th time and, uh, oh wait, no, that's, oh wow, that's stupid. Uh, that's actually the amount of times you need to level up the armor with in order to grab the plus version of Vermax. So, we're going to take it down for the 43rd time in this episode. I'm actually quite excited for this. Uh, I'm right now in the process of uh, summoning it already. And I did a cool segment of um, leveling up the Vermax's armor or the Vermax's plate mill up to level 35. But I was really stupid on deleting that recording. I don't know what happened, why I did that. But I feel pretty darn stupid for, for actually having that happen to me. So, um, unfortunately, I cannot bring you that episode. But I can show it to you in just a second once we're off crafting the plus version. So, I'm kind of going to need to look through my friends right now. Because I really didn't realize that it was already level 41. Because I was some sort of occupied with the guild war in some sense of the way. And also my spotlight video coming out and everything. But I've used up all of my, uh, most of my friends, and here I got SK Frypan, who's pretty strong. And I can hire one more friend after that, and I'm not going to hire anyone that's weak. And then we have NR Zito, who's still part of our guild in this guild. And they have exactly the same stat, that's quite funny. So, we're off on our epic journey of defeating Vermax for the 41st time. Uh, 43rd? I don't even know it, but it's 40, it's 43, yeah, it's 43, okay. Um, yeah, I, I woke up literally like about an hour ago because um, these guild, this guild war is just taking way too long, like it really takes up too much of your time. I'm not even sure if I can defeat it right now, but we still got our gems to get back to. I don't think I will be capable of making it. Um, I did some free gem offers, so that way I was actually capable of getting uh, some free gems, and I should have just used the special attack button from the beginning because it would have gone down at that time so I'm going to restore them right now because um, that way I'm capable of getting it the original way which I like so much and then we have like one or two days in order to prepare for Arachnos which is coming up pretty soon too so that's going to be quite exciting because I'm looking forward to that so right now we have defeated Vermax 43 times I'm gonna look to be sure uh, right now I'm not even Sure. We defeated it for the amount of times that we needed to defeat it. Yeah, 43 times. Thank you. Oh wow. I uh, I'm totally not awake. So we got some money and we got some enchantment chest keys. So we are going to um, open these because uh, that's a lot of fun. So we are going to get fusion stones. We we get a lot of fusion stones always. Living flame armor, um, sea foam armor, metal cogs. And fusion stones, this is a pretty nice chest to be honest. And hopefully, nah, just one fusion stone. So we got four fusion stones, some metal cogs, the sea foam armor, and living flame armor. That's a pretty nice deal. I mean, I have a. I don't even know right now, but I, I got a few fusion stones left, like 25. So we're well on our way to uh, get things going. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the armorsmith, and uh, we are hopefully going to craft the Vermaxis Blade Mill. Because we defeated the epic boss 43 times. So um, as you guys can see I have a bunch of 3 stars. I'll be crafting these in the upcoming days. And hopefully bring a fusion episode to you guys. As we are crafting the Vermaxis plate mill. So that's great news there. We uh, are actually done here. So I'm going to uh, put in this royal armor. That's also why I've saved up my money. Because when we need to enhance our armors. It's going to be taking us a long time. And we're also going to take a look at our current armors. That we might be capable of combining. So that might be a little bit interesting. And I have a lot of one stars. And um, some more one stars. And some more one stars. And there's our two stars. So we have a couple of three stars. Uh, I'm not going to use it in a fair. Um, I have yet to uh, also unequip the hunter's uh, hunter's garb. I believe that I'm having. Uh, we can take a look at the knights here as well when we enhance. It's usually, like always at the top, like you see the little names at the bottom. Those don't appear. So I also have a redstone battle gear. I forgot about that. And I should have a few other armors that I'm not capable of seeing because I have them maxed out. I believe. 
yeah, here they are, the Neon Warrior. Um, when I get my green Kaleidoscopic, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but it will replace probably the Neon Warrior because um, it's the same type of element and Aquarius is a little bit stronger but I'm not sure about it quite yet because Aquarius is more of an offensive type armor while Nimbus uh, carries a more defensive type armor and I actually do like defense but I'm thinking about putting the green kaleidoscopic as my defensive armor at the front but you guys gotta let me know what you guys think about that so that's quite interesting currently I'm also level 95 so we have five more levels to go in order to get to the maximum level of 100 in which we're still capable of getting some stats and that's going to be quite exciting because I have a few videos prepared for you guys or at least a couple of clips in which I can show you guys the progression of me leveling up so that's going to be quite interesting so uh, right now I'm doing a bit of arena to show you guys that lately I'm doing pretty well in the arena um, and I'm probably going to jinx myself by saying that but as you guys can see I'm not really having that much trouble beating these guys and I don't understand why I didn't like find these guys before um, and we are soon going to get our next milestone which is uh, 10,500 points I'm aiming for 16,000 um, so that's going to be quite interesting because then I'll actually do have some gems to uh, use on uh, Arachnos if we actually need to so that's going to be very exciting for us because I actually do feel that I'll be capable of taking it down fairly easily uh, up to level 43 I'm pretty confident at this point so um, yeah I'm going to be looking forward to doing that and we got two more battles to win in order to uh, that's actually quite nice because we have two energy left so hopefully oh here's Mac Mason I'm not going to fight him because he's too strong and you know, I know you're watching this video, so that's actually quite funny that I see you in here. I don't understand. Oh yeah, you're level 96, right? And I'm level 94, so we get like matched up against each other. That's quite interesting. Never thought I would actually meet a YouTuber in the arena. That's actually quite fun. And you know what? Just for the sheer fact that you guys are watching this, I'm actually going to attack him just to show you guys how strong he is. Oh, actually you have an advantage here. The first attack is going to be in my favor, but it's probably maxed out, so I have trouble here. And at the end, I'll probably have some trouble there. So, we need to make sure that our second knight is going to take the blow against the aquatic battle gear. But, oh wow, one hit? Whoa! Man, no way! No way! No way! No way! Man! <laughs> Woo! Yes! Wow, that is amazing! Thank you, Mac Mason. Jeez. Oh, man, I got tears in my eyes. Did you see that? We defeated like a freaking Spectre Shroud in one hit. Thank you, Crit. I'm astonished here. I cannot believe that just happened. I cannot believe this. Like, sometimes I have these epic moments on the arena. And sometimes I have this massive brain fart I cannot really do anything about. This is trash. Why do like they should have an option in which you could like filter out which reward you want to be getting and which one which reward you don't want to be getting. And they can just be like, yeah, you're not receiving anything, something like that. So nothing all that good in, in the chest. So uh, last thing I want to be talking to you guys about before we end off this episode here is my friends list. Um, after this episode, I'm going to remove every single guy off my friends list again. And that is because that way other people like my YouTube subscribers actually do get a chance of uh, adding me as a friend. I seriously thought that this rune knight at top here, that that was me and that I had a Spectre Shroud. I needed to like double check. But that's actually quite funny. But yeah, um, I'm going to be uh, removing a lot of friends from my friends list. So if you're seeing this video, feel free to add me again. My friend code is in the description. And if I actually do remove you, I really apologize for that. It's nothing personal, but it's just that's a certain habit that I'm having after like two weeks of having my friends. I end up removing every one of them to give everyone an equal chance of adding me towards a friend. So with that being said, I'm going to round this episode off here. It was a pretty nice episode. We uh, actually defeated a YouTuber, I'm pretty happy about that because he was fully epic geared and we actually got some great stuff on going. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was reserve uh, this was reserveful, seriously. <laughs> and as always, if you guys like this video, make sure to boom, give it a thumbs up. Okay, and I totally forgot what I was going to say, but I'm uh, gonna see you guys again in the next one.